Dansky in for McCarthy in Gibson Park. Ireland have had a lot of possession. They don't have much in the way of points to show for it. James Lowe is cut down by Gail Fiku. They have the advantage of the extra man. Can they make it pay? Aki, Gibson Park, yes, they can. Ireland in for the first try of the 2024 Guinness Six Nations. He's involved in this and all over the place. Firstly, that ball out the back. They're creating holes, he recycles himself. And it's the short line that we'll see in a second. Comes right off the shoulder. I think it's of Robbie Henshaw in the end. It is, yeah, that straight line. And then the, the dexterity to get the ball back inside, almost underneath his left hand. That's a really difficult skill to, to do when you're not being tackled by. This time, Willemse goes at the right height to make the tackle. Crowley again, furlong once more. Ireland continue their work, nine phases inside that French 22. Ty Byrne finds a huge hole, burn through, burn in. Ireland have their second try, and where, oh, where did the French defence go? But look at this from Crowley. Real delay on the pass. Dante very, very rarely makes a mistake. Ireland six metres short of the French line. Gibson Park has a little look both sides. There's got to be a gap out there. It's 15 against 14. Can Ireland find it? Almost through. There for Doris. Out wide, Nash! Calvin Nash! Great response. Massive carries again. McCarthy, I mean, he's, he's like a man mounted but moves really quickly as well. That break, that half break from Henshaw was the difference. And then the offload off the deck. It just means that that point of attack is shifted. Kalen Doris using his hands well, took the speed off. You don't have to be running forward. Let the defender come towards you. The bench will be emptied by Bye. Ireland after this passage of play. McCarthy, oh. Van der Flair, and Sheehan at the back of the Irish Mall that is working and working and working! <laughs> try for Ireland, bonus point try, Dan Sheehan. The driving mall just disintegrated from a French point of view. Damien Pinot doing all he can to try and hold up. Five, six, green shirt. 22 years of age, sixth international cap, first start in the Guinness Six Nations. He is the player of the match. Ireland, in the final three minutes, are looking for what would be a fifth try in Marseille. And they might get it, you know, they might just get it. Kelleher puts an exclamation mark on the performance. Packed a punch. Worked really hard, worked together, and it's worked. Ioanni's come in off his wing. That's him to make the tackle on. Crowley who gets it off to Nash and Casey and Ireland are building and building and building! In goes Jack Crowley! Crowley with Ireland's first try. Crowley with his first international try. And all of a sudden it becomes a little bit of space on the outside. Another great offload. He gets to his feet very quickly. The combination of the Munster boys, 9 and 10. Thank you very much. My word. Casey McCarthy pulls it back. Ireland have nothing outside of Nash, but Nash will try and burst through. Crowley, great hands, oh, wonderful, McCluskey, Sheehan, that was a thing of beauty. Those normally fantastic defensively simply can't get to them. That is lovely play once again, that is lovely play once again, and that's a lovely score once again. Release one, blue. Can't get there. Where's the ball? Porter is in search pops it off james ryan doesn't get there in there is raza to stop him arnold will go again i think they've got there they have just too much power in the end conan pops over and ireland have tried number three but when it comes out right there's no forwards just the number 10 and that's the result a big in against the small and Dan Sheehan and Ireland Brian out. Taken by Ryan, Sheehan in at the back. The mall begins to rumble. And Sheehan, 
should be there and is there. Ireland have their bonus point try. Sheehan with his second of the afternoon. Pushing back was there. They expect it, they splinter off the side. Still holding on to that 22, the Italians just not letting them cross. But here's Shane Glow, hits the gas low. Five metres, three metres, one metre short. Try, Shane Glow. Reaches out a big long arm to ensure that Ireland have tried number five. So important to Ireland. Gibson Park at nine is so important to Ireland. Everyone is, look at this, he's riding tackles, riding tackles. Ioani, that's fine. There is no problem, you are allowed one attempt, you can't move your body, it doesn't matter where the tackle's made, you're allowed one attempt with the momentum, he goes, Kapabutsu, bang, <laughs> try. Ooh. Yes, thank you, By a millimetre. Try number five for Ireland, James Lowe. <laughs> that is his 13th international try. Remember, Ireland playing with advantage. Free throw of the dice. Van der Fleer pulls it back. Harry Byrne. McCluskey gets it away. Crowley. Gibson Park. One more should do it. Nash to the corner. What's to do? Jab done. Calvin Nash. Gibson Park running everywhere like a good ferret that he is. Balls out the back. Hold your time. Hold your pace. Wait for something to happen. And all of a sudden, lovely hands. Gibson Park is there. And Nash just says, right, this may hurt, but I'm going to get over that try line. Just puts his head down. Look at this. Keep the ball available. Look at the depth. Look at the depth. Wait for it. Again, it's a numbers game. We've got one more than you. And that's what happens. So the first time Ireland went this way towards the Welsh try line. The Welsh defence disrupted it superbly. Ireland looking for more cohesion this time. Free, the bats keep it up, keep it up. Join their single numbered mates to add some heft and weight. The Welsh have their defensive flak jackets on now. And Ireland get there. They run puncture the way. Does it? Okay. Now look at the players in there Gibson Let's Park, Crowley, James Lowe. <laughs> Gibson Park. Josh van der Fleer has got good. huge post-contact meters in this championship so far. Caelan Doris, multiple player of the match winner Advantage during his career. Offside, of Wales, Joe McCarthy. Here is Crowley, and it's Shane's low. And that is one for the Mandelpiece. We're made to work for it. There were some really good phases of defence there from Wales. Here comes this Irish ball again. No hands on the ground, 20. Kelleher in possession of the ball. OK, that's worse. Conan just in front of him. Eight, no hands on the ground. Gibson Park, Bundiaki denied a try a short time ago. Gibson Park, great position this for Advantage Ireland. Conan, offside. Advantage for Advantage. offside. Must be for Crowley. And at last, the Welsh defence is overwhelmed. Bastard, keeping the pressure on, sticking to what they know. What about that pass? 170 tackles plus wheels have made. Healy, no, you pull away. Tommy Raffle, the top tackler with 20 to his name. Doris Crowley. It's already scored a try in this championship. Here's Ty Byrne. And Ty Byrne is through. Wales by a brave Welsh defence. But their attacking versatility is what has won them this game. They go short, they go long, they go wide. They can keep hold of that ball, multi-multi phases, grind teams down. And they deserve that bonus point win. Brilliantly taken in the air by Hugo Keenan. And I'm so delighted to see him restored. Here's Kevin Doris. The space now outside for Ireland. Here is Henshaw. Crowley for James Lowe. Ireland mighty Laird. And merciless again, as they have been throughout this championship. Crucial with his exits and his long kicking. He's not too bad scoring a tries, and this is what happens. Ball goes up in the air. He don't get it. Then Ireland now just... 
Again, is it that blitz defence that England are trying to adapt? It, it, it's helter-skelter at the moment because people are going out, they're jumping out the line. And that's Sam Finnish, he loves running into the flag. It doesn't matter, you can touch the flag, no problem. Well, we'll just should make sure that's lovely. <laughs> Throw away! Murray. Advantage, no trolling. He's trying to create the numbers on the outside, Ireland, by sucking in those England defenders. Here's Murray again, Henderson, Crowley. Here it is for James Lowe! And Ireland again, clinical in the Goldilock zone. And it's James Lowe with another one. Only put up. Again, it was too easy, really, for them. Was it two, three phases? The ball's out the back from Henderson. Crawley, Gibson Park, and then trying to hide Marcus Smith. Not the greatest tacklers in the game. On the wing, doesn't pay out when you've got a big, big end against a small end. Just uses his way into the tackle. Gets that ball both in hands again. He's seen him score one, just closer to the post. That could be it. I'll never say it's never. England have fought today. Yeah. But they came down the channel, they were held up, taken over, but danger. Sheehan in! Dan Sheehan profits from the first mistake of the Scottish lineup that has looked so comfortable defensively. The overthrow missed by Gilchrist at the back, and in the end, it was a walk in for that man. Kings for him. You just see here, by the looks of things, it's not necessarily. That's for later. Right now. It's Kelleher, Burn, Ireland against the Scottish defence that has refused to win all day long until right now. Andrew Porter eventually finds the answer as to how do you unlock a Scottish defence. And Scotland, well, they were there and they were there in numbers, but the momentum. Drive me clear off.